everyone. Well, I just thought I'd give a quick update. We got to Aurelia quicker than I thought we were. So we're in Aurelia. To the left of me is Lake Simcoe, and then to the right of me as well. So we're just going across the channel. Um, probably going to be able to score a Tim Hortons here somewhere. Um, just seeing all the people that were behind me are all passing me now. <laughs> it's like, go for it, man. I'm not in any hurry. But I'm hoping, upon hoping, everyone well huh. um, we are able to get stopped at a Tim Hortons so anyhow um, I ended up ordering two of those turkey club they're turkey club sandwiches still just as great so I couldn't eat two I just had the one but you know when I get back to the campsite and everything uh, you know later I'm gonna want a stack so maybe I won't even bother going to get to get the bread and the buns tonight I'll just get camp set up and that uh, be done with it Anyways, we had a big rain uh, storm here come through, so anyway, dealt with that. But I've got to tell you something, GPS, there must be AI or something running with it now because it's learning my habits that I like the back roads and stuff. And I just GPSed from Aurelia to Sabo Beach and... It gave me two ways. The other way I didn't see that last year, and although I, it's, what freaks me out is I should have known this, is, oh, this is 60 here. Jesus Christ, what am I doing? Hang on, guys. Um, little town called Jarat. Anyway, uh, um, so, but the way that it, Normally would show me you're cutting through Colin, Collins, Collins Bay, uh, Collingwood, and uh, then you run underneath, up, up underneath the lake, and then you eventually have to go through Owen Sound. Well, the way it's showing me now, I get to avoid all that, including Owen Sound, and it's not like it's only a couple kilometers difference. But I mean, I'm not going to be sitting in traffic in Coll Collingwood or Owen Sound or everything. So basically, I'm just running the back roads all the way to Sable Beach. Like, wow. Now, the only thing that can happen is going to downtown or very close to downtown Aurelia. So that'll have to correct. But I can tell you right now, wow, man, I'm really happy about this uh, thing. So the GPS must be learning because before it would just show me the one. Now it showed me another one. It's like, uh oh, okay, this is back rows. This is what I like to do. So it's obviously learning my habits. I can't figure out what else. So AI, I guess, maybe, eh? Anyway, looks like it never even rained here. Just dry as a popcorn fart. It was just one of those rain bursts. Anyway, uh, you can definitely tell we're into the escarpment. It's got the long flat runs and then you're up over some uh, big a big ridge like you see the one that's coming up there. By the way, this isn't 2.30. It's 10 after 2. I thought I'd come on early because um, uh, I, I mean, I didn't really want to... Okay, now we're back to proper speed limit. Um, whoop, no, that speed limit. That speed limit. <laughs> um... You could see, can you see it in the long distance? Yeah, you can. So it's these big long runs like this and you're going up hill, up hill, up hill, up hill. And then you finally reach the peak and then it might be two or three peaks sometimes in between. And then we'll eventually be going downhill, downhill, downhill. But I've never been this way before, but I'm like already fucking happy. You know the way it is so it's busier than my back roads but hey this is a busier part of the province by far you know we're not that far north of toronto obviously we're north we were just going through aurelia we're north of barry now or north west of barry i guess now so no i'm uh, i'm really quite happy about all this 
So I'm down to 100, a range 171 kilometers and um, I still have 100, uh, what did it say I had left? Uh, I have 150 kilometers to go. Like there's 21 kilometers left over by the time I hit Sabo Beach. But that's the other big news. Okay, now we're coming into Colson. But the gas is going down and down and down. So fuck, I should have waited. I didn't know. I should have checked. You can check on the internet. I don't know why I didn't check. But gas is down to $1.51 in this area. And this is out in the boonies. Okay? So... I'm rather pleased. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's a good 10 cents cheaper. So my deposit for my pension should be in tomorrow morning. Being it'd be the 13th, and usually they're around the 13th. Um, I was kind of half expecting it this morning, but they don't, they don't deposit on a Sunday night. I don't think I've ever seen them do that, but memory, eh? Anyway... Mark advanced me $100 for gas, so I'm good to go there. Didn't touch the $100. I used the $20 bill for the for the snack. And uh, see, this is one of those big long uphills. See, we've been going steadily, steadily uphill. And the gas mileage is dropping. It's back to 15.1 now. And it would be. these. This is long runs. This, ooh, she's dropping gears. I'm just letting the truck do it, man. The computer knows what it's doing. I I, uh, I wasn't fighting the truck, but I've learned just, just let her do. She's designed with her little computer and all that shit inside. Uh, okay, we know what to do here. You just drive the fucking thing, and if you need to stop, hit the brakes. But the truck's saying to me, I'll do the rest. And she's running a thousand times better, like completely different. I, I got to make sure to start taking this truck on at least every couple of weeks a good long run with it because I know that's stupid too, eh? But I'll be going out much more now. The boat is up to, you know, standard and it's, you know, I'll probably bring it over to Trues and get him to finish the wiring. We'll rewire the stuff up to the dash. It's going to spend at least a day or more with Jeff so he can build back in all the compartments and everything into the main part of the boat. Then I'm gonna get him to carpet it. Get the old Quadrophenia up to task. So what's this? Now they got the little towns like here. Okay, this is Horseshoe Valley. Yeah, well, it definitely is a valley. Wants me to drop to 70 now. I'm gonna keep that window closed. I'm gonna need some AC in here because this well it says it's back down to 17 Celsius outside. So it may be, but I got the window closed. So there must have been like that was a little warm front that just come flying through and it kicked off the rain and it got a cold front behind it. Because we went all the way up to 21 or 22 and now it's back up oh, now it's 18 but it was down to 17 there a minute ago and see that oh can you guys see the big long run again <laughs> hey isn't that wild you guys see that you people living out west in the rockies and all that probably go <laughs> we see this every day but i mean for this part of canada especially ontario wants me to stay at 70 so now the truck actually uses engine braking like a jake brake i find that absolutely fucking amazing oh, big ass golf course i guess if you're gonna have a golf course you'd have it up in a hilly place like this bicyclers <laughs> pull over and catch your breath from that little run <laughs> although coming down that hill you'd probably get up some pretty good speed there now you've got the you know the thing on the side they the, you know the they're well this part isn't but for the most part they're paved now so I mean they can get some good speed coming down these hills I don't know I haven't ridden a bicycle in so long where I should probably horseshoe resort okay yeah, it looks like a resort, all right. Not the kind of place 
I would stay. <laughs> now, if I'm with a female counterpart, and we were going wanting to go somewhere nice, well, then I would do that. If it was something she wanted to do, like as a change of pace to the camping or RV or something, but I couldn't care either way. I prefer to be in an RV or camping, but. Let's see who my next, uh, I've met someone, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna be going to see her for the first time in, um, September spend a few days and then come back probably going to go camping there this is my plan okay this guy just jumped right out on an 80 kilometer I hope he knows where the pedal is on the right can you see up way up in the distance it just keeps going like that and then it just eventually hits Lake Huron if we were to go straight straight through I'm gonna check the GPS again because I might have it redirect me through another way. But this here, now we're getting into the area, well, it's still, we're still not south of Owen Sound, but once we're south of Owen Sound, and, and we're gonna be south of there, we're literally in the area that my family settled back in the 1800s. So, and I say settled because when they came here, and I've said this every single vehicle, that vehicle, every, the sogging, whatever tribes were here back 200 years ago, they helped my family and my ancestors survive those first couple of winters. And they traded, sold, whatever it is they did for money back then, um, for land that the, the, the First Nations weren't interested in. They weren't farmers to begin with, so. But it ended up being beneficial to both because they could trade stuff and then the stuff that my ancestors grew and raised out here, if there was something that the First Nations folks were interested, so they did trade. So it was beneficial. Anyways, I'm able to talk your ears off and do these videos because of my, uh, because of these folks in these parts, Lion's Head, Sogging, all that. Sajin, sorry. Ah, oh, I never, I never remember how to pronounce it right. And I should after all this time. Welcome to Craighurst. I'm probably going to stop this soon here because uh, <clears throat> getting into another zone. Okay, I'll be back after. <laughs> 